conductors. It's all about conductors, insulators. Um, and then, so what a conductor is, um, Tristan, you, you know, all this stuff, Ryan, you probably know this stuff too. These, these are materials that, that, um, they don't hold on to their electrons very well. And so ele- electrical energy can, can pass through it pretty easily. Uh, insulators, they hold on to their, their electrons really tight. And so it's hard for, for electrical energy to get through it. Semiconductors are, are right. They're, they're not, um, they're not insulating enough to be insulators. They're not conductive, conductive enough to be conductors. But semiconductors can have conductivities way higher than conductors, especially if you dope them, if you introduce impurities into them, silicon, germanium. But uh, really, honestly, it's, it's, it's a Google search away. What kind of service am I standing on? Is it conductive? Yeah, I'm grounded. Um, if it's, you know, and a, a good example, uh, I'm on the beach, I'm grounded. Not necessarily. Uh, sand is really, really dry. Um, if you're really close to the water, yeah, and, and there's a little bit more moisture in that sand, you're probably grounded. But like as you kind of get further, further um, close to the mainland, uh, that sand starts to get really dry. There's a lot of air in there, which is really insulating. Um, but really, it just comes down to what am I standing on? Am I standing on an insulating material? Am I standing on a conductive material? So that's really easy for people to kind of look yeah, up. And, on and this own. is like, and I tell people that too, but this is like sort of a, like a semi follow up. Um, and I don't even know if there's like a hundred percent clear answer, but like, for instance, like I always think about when should I be drowning and when is it good to like actually have a rubber sole on? So like inside, I'm like doing the opposite of what everyone would normally do. Like inside, I'm like wearing rubber soles. I don't be grounded to anything. In, in my house. So like if you have like a cemented basement, for instance, with no like carpeting or any of that stuff, like should you be wearing shoes inside? Because you're also surrounded by all this dirty electricity. So it's like, are you grounding with the dirty electricity or are you grounding with the earth in that situation? So I love your, I just want your thoughts on that really quick. Cause I, I just, people ask me that and I don't exactly know what to tell them. My rule of thumb generally is just like inside, I just wear shoes generally. Cause I just, I think there's just so much crap around anyways. Um, Tristan, I don't know. You might think differently. Uh, I think if, if it's cement, um, I think you're, you're probably fine. So like, let's, so what is, what is cement? It's mostly mineral. It's mostly water, um, which, which can be conductive, especially if you get it wet. Um, I think that's fine for grounding. Um, Another another common one that kind of get, gets mixed up with cement is asphalt. And what is asphalt? It's ma- it's mainly this this petroleum based polymer, which is very it's very insulating. Um, I I think it's I think it's okay. I think it'll work. Really, it just comes down to using your voltmeter. Like, is this is this actually grounding me? Um, and the voltmeter is kind of a it's a big the multimeter is a, is a big uh, something that people are sharing a lot lately and it's really cool because then you're actually seeing the real time effects of, of what grounding is doing to your body. Um, I don't know if that answered your question, but yeah, I did basically. <laughs> yeah, I, I just I just yeah. no, I know what to tell people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 